Virgo. Virgo, welcome. Cards flying out of the deck. We have the lovers that flies out. We'll see if that shows up again later. Uh, could be the current energy. Who knows? We'll see what comes out. Uh, Virgo, let's see what's going on for you. We're going to do a general read looking at your current energy or where you are currently. And then we'll look at your desires, the outcome, what's working for you, what you need to be aware of. So that said, let's have a look and see what's going on for you, Virgo. Wheel of Fortune. For some of you, this could be things are starting to move finally. New cycle beginning. We have the death card, Scorpio energy. Uh, this is in your desire section. This is talking about major change. The devil shows up. Capricorn energy. Um, in the outcome. So... Maybe you're tying yourself down. Maybe you're not really looking where you're going. Could be that uh, some toxicity going on. Page of Pentacles shows up in what's working for you. So some type of learning could be going on. And the Hierophant shows up. Taurus Energy shows up in what you need to be aware of. So this could be some type of relationship. I get more um, something really institutional. But we'll clarify. Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. This feels like you've put a lot of work in. You put a lot of work into something, and now you're letting it go. You're like, nah, you know what? I've cut my losses. I'm leaving this behind. And I'm taking a different path with the Knight of Swords. Rather than taking a yeah, different energy, different path, and making those decisions. So yeah, this makes sense that this goes to the death card, that you're looking for major change. I definitely can see that. There's a strong hope here as well. There's a strong hope that in this change, you'll be able to manifest or realize um your hopes and dreams that this financial security and basically finding the thing that kind of floats your boat is what I'm getting out of this. Now the devil shows up in the outcome. Ten of Cups, Four of Cups, King of Pentacles. There's a commitment here. Uh, there's a possible commitment with the Ten of Cups. This is like yeah, just this whole love, happy home type of thing that's going on. But you're kind of like, meh, do I want it? I would rather chase the King of Pentacles. I would rather be feeling solid in my finances. So you can see how this sort of one-sidedness could be causing this devil card to show up. That's why we talk about the Page of Pentacles here. Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands, and the Chariot. This is, to me, this is like learning that needs to be done. Uh, you haven't quite learned the lesson. You're still fighting the good fight or fighting old beliefs or fighting with old beliefs. And we have the Chariot that shows up. And this is like, yeah, you know... One of these days, things are going to happen for me. One of these days. Once you choose that direction, this is kind of this chariot's got no reins, and it's kind of directionless. Uh, so in order to get these things to move, good swift kick in the hoo-hoo, or hoo hiney, uh, we'll get it going. The Hierophant shows up. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Um... There is something of worth here. Um, like I said, institutional. This could be some type of learning again with the Page of Pentacles. This could be a major. This could be a major change as well. And there is things that are worth here. There's a lot of success here. 
to overcome this five of pentacles this um or maybe yeah the hardships that are that are here around money and all of those types of things last three cards king of cups two of cups ace of swords With the King of Cups, this is somebody that's very wise, very in control of their emotions, sometimes very creative, gets in tune with themselves very, very easily. And as you do that, there is the possibility of a relationship that comes in, a very connected relationship. Um, I don't know how to term I don't have the term in my head right now. Sometimes I can't find the words to do what's going on in my own brain. Uh, but whatever this is, this start here, there, this this two of cups, seems to be a good thing. It's something that you can actually wrap your head around and understand and feel good about it. That it fills you <clears throat> and gives you that that pleasure and joy of being. Virgo, that's what I have for you today. Feel free to subscribe, like or dislike. Thank you all for being here. Best of luck this week, and we'll talk to you next time.